Okay, so, so far in this tutorial series, we've created um, our product display and we've created our cart. Now, obviously it's nowhere near finished yet. What we've got to do is we've got to add our minus and plus buttons and delete button. Now, the minus button is going to remove one of the quantities. So if the minus button did exist here right now, I could press it and T would go to one quantity. If I was to press the minus button on the book, this would go to zero, therefore it would remove this completely from my cart. The plus would obviously increase, so this would go to three, and the same with this going to two. Then we're gonna have a delete button, which is gonna completely remove this one, or this one, depending on where it's pressed. So we can carry on with this inside here. Um, we're just gonna be basically adding on to this echo here. So let's remove the break. We're gonna create another link and that's going to be minus and again after that we're going to create another link and that's going to be plus and then after that we're going to create another link and that's going to be delete okay and then a break after that so that's the last thing we need on that line uh, let's refresh say so you can see we've got a minus a plus and a delete Now these don't do anything yet but what they're going to do is they're going to do exactly what I've explained so what, how are we going to link them and what we're going to link them to? We're going to link them to cart.php, obviously. Um, these are going to be displayed on the index page, so we're linking back to the cart. We're going to use if statements to check you know, what's been added. So remove equals, and then we need the item um, ID. So the ID of the item is ID. It just says it basically there. So let's go along and we'll do... ID. Um, again with the plus we're going to say cart.php add equals and that's going to be ID and the same with the delete we're going to say cart.php delete equals ID. So let's test this out. Okay so I'm going to click delete cart.php delete equals 2 so 2 is our ID of the T and if I delete that one that's the ID of 1 up here we can see it so that's absolutely fine the same with remove so remove equals 2 and remove equals 1 so this is going to remove and add uh, or delete the whole thing or add one quantity or remove one quantity now as far as the add goes this is exactly the same as this button so T equals 2 press that go back T equals three. Now, obviously, at the moment we're going to have we're we're going to cart.php, but we're having to click back in our browser to come back to this page. Now, what we want to do is earlier, or the, in the first part of the tutorial, I created this page equals index.php variable. The reason I did this is because let's say after we add, so we've added blah blah blah. Just after this, I might want to say um, header location page now what that's going to do is it, that's going to take me back to the index page after I have added the product um, the same with everything else we're going to create in a moment but so I've updated the add um, if statement and blah 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 inside of it so let's refresh now if I want to set T to 4 and I click the plus button oh hold on let's just Okay, so header location equals uh, to the page. Okay, so let's go to cart.php. Okay, so add. Hmm. Okay, um, add equals two, 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 two. Okay, the quantity of three. So I've hit my maximum quantity. So again, my my mistake, and that's why it's not referring us back. Now I've actually placed this header in the wrong place. Then, so if I get rid of this and I put that down there that's more that's more appropriate that's the, the place we need to place it the reason why is if um, for example we have hit the maximum quantity we still want to locate back to the index.php file or it's gonna not do anything so t uh, times 3 I'm gonna add another one right that's that's just gone to the cart.php and then forwarded us straight back now I'm going to show it to you with a book where we haven't hit our maximum quantity I'm going to press that and you see that's gone to 2 
and we press it again that's gone to three we press it again that's gone to four and we're adding up our numbers as we go you can see it adding up as we go now what I want to do is create the remove function which is going to remove uh, not the remove function the remove if statement which is going to check for this and remove a quantity so this is quite simple we just say if is set dollar underscore get remove and remember that um, we, we we're doing this basically because when we do click the minus button it takes us to cart.php and the variable name is remove and that equals one at the moment because that's the uh, item I've clicked on so um, this is extremely simple um, all we really need to do is we need to say dollar underscore session cart underscore and then dollar underscore get remove so remember we need to concatenate that on and add that int in there to make sure it's an integer value um, and then we need to say basically then a bit minus minus this is a short this is short of saying equal something minus something and then we need to say header location and then concatenate on that page um, as we did up here so let's test that let's minus 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 now we're down to one at the moment so book times one equals 399 uh, at 399 equals 399 if I was to remove this once more we've removed uh, the session uh, entirely because the value is going to be set to zero so if I click that that goes and for some reason we've got this your cart is empty uh, message come up so let's just double check that Let's go down. So if value is greater than, okay. So let's get rid of this else here. That perhaps wasn't needed. We'll add that in later um, if needed. So let's come and refresh. Okay. So now let's add a book again. Okay. Now if I was to add some t, that this quantity will go up to well nothing at the moment because we've hit a maximum. Let's get this down to one. We can use this button to add this button to take away and this button to add as well and now we just need to create the delete one basically which is going to um, which is going to delete uh, the item completely so I'm going to add these two in uh, set the quantity up a bit set that to say six now the delete is um, going to be more or less exactly the same let's go up so up to here yeah okay so if is set dollar underscore get remove okay so it's exactly the same thing we want to say dollar underscore session we're basically copying the code uh, just here um, cart underscore and then we're doing uh, dollar underscore get delete this is supposed to be delete obviously um, and again we're saying int in front of that which was we're passing an integer uh, and then basically all we want to do is say that equals zero okay uh, and then we say header location and concatenate on that page so we're setting the car and the uh, ID that we've specified to zero so it'll automatically be removed from this list so let's say click on delete the T delete the book we're done we can re-add these uh, increase their quantities as we can before but we can also delete them so at the moment we have a more or less functioning cart the only thing we need to do is we need to add our PayPal checkout button and we also need to clear a few things up uh, one of the things I can see at the moment we need to clear up is we just need to add a, a pound sign in front of here so let's go and do that now quickly Uh, that would go here so and pound refresh and we've got a pound sign in there okay so what I'm going to do now is add um, a little bit of functionality in that's going to tell us we've got no items in our cart so um, at the moment we've got nothing up here but we want something that's a bit more user friendly if we come back to our cart function um, underneath this for each thing here um, in fact first of all underneath here 
we want to keep a running total of everything in our basket, basically. So, um, for now, total plus equals sub, and remember sub is um, the subtotal of our items. So essentially what we're doing is when we add our items to our cart, we're adding this, depending on the quantity, and this together, and then we're producing our complete quantity. So total um, plus equals sub. So what we could do is um, come down here and echo total. Okay, um, we'll just see how that looks for now. 10.49, so yeah, that's right, that's correct. 6.50, add 3.99, we've got 10.49. So um, now what we want to do is put a little if statement in just to check if the quantity equals zero. So if, uh, or sorry, if the total equals zero. So if total equals zero, we're going to say to the user, uh, your cart is empty. Okay, um, T, spell it right. Uh, and then else, we're going to show here, basic, um, here, we're going to show our um, PayPal checkout button. So just for now, I'm going to echo PayPal checkout button. Okay, so let's come and refresh. Okay, so PayPal checkout button, um, along with the total as well but we'll, we'll sort that out in a minute so PayPal checkout button if there's nothing in the cart your cart is empty so this is pretty much working uh, add add and we've got our PayPal checkout button back um, but obviously in here we need to uh, echo some user friendly way to say the total so total I'm gonna say total and I'm gonna say and pound so I'm using pounds and I'm going to concatenate on the total but obviously I'm going to use number format and to two decimal places okay so let's just um, refresh okay so total equals 1049 so that's clearly displayed to us and then after this around here we want to uh, have our PayPal checkout button and that will be in the next part of this tutorial.